What's up, everyone? This is Jeff with the Overwatch team. Great to be here to give you all an update on some of the cool things that are going on right now in the Overwatch community. As many of you know, we just released a Symmetra short story that's titled Stone by Stone. Now, this story was particularly fun to work on because we got to work with award-winning author Christy Golden. Many of you, especially those of you old school Blizzard fans, will recognize Christy's work from the amazing stuff she's done on the Warcraft series. In fact, she's written some of my favorite Warcraft novels. So it was quite an honor for us to get to work with Christy on this short story for Overwatch. And I'm really hoping Christy, and Christy, if you're listening, I hope Christy wants to do more stuff for Overwatch because we really enjoyed the fiction that she wrote in this particular story. So this story tells of a Vishkar mishap that happened in India and it caused damage to a particular temple there. Now there's a monk named Zenyatta, who many of you are familiar with, who works with Symmetra to figure out what is the right solution here to do right by this temple and do right by the people of the town. And that is what Stone by Stone is about. And it really is an interesting view into Symmetra's mindset. And it shows sort of a transformation and a journey that she goes on where she learns a lot about herself while learning about um, what is important to Zenyatta about this temple. So we think it's a great story. We're very excited to share with you some of Christy Golden's fantastic writing. We're hoping we get to work with her more in the future. Now, the other cool part is we're going to celebrate this with an event in game and it's called Symmetra's Restoration Challenge. You will be able to unlock an epic skin by getting nine wins and each three wins, there's other rewards along the way. So you know how that works. We think it's cool. We think it'll be fun and rewarding. And also with our partnered streamers, you will be able to earn certain rewards just by watching their streams as well. So look for all that content. The short story is on playoverwatch.com and it's called Stone by Stone. Now there's a couple other good updates that I want to talk to you about. Um, that we've been working hard on and will be coming to the live game soon. So they're not here yet, but they're things that we're excited about that are coming soon. The first is something called Priority Pass. Now, what Priority Pass is, is if you are playing an impacted role, and if we're being honest and direct with each other, that's probably the damage role, meaning that has the longest wait time, if you are somebody who has a priority pass, you will get a faster queue time for that role. Now, the first thing that's going to come to mind is people are going to ask, well, how do I earn this priority pass? Priority passes are earned by entering a flex queue. When you enter the flex queue, you are in essence queuing for every role available, tank, support, damage, and the game will will put you in, will match make you into the role that is currently most needed to speed up queue times for everybody. If you win your game while you're in the flex queue, you'll earn even more priority passes than you would if you lost. Now, if you lose, you're still going to get some priority passes. If you win, you're going to earn a lot. You can bank up to 40 priority passes. And this is a number that might change. We might tune this differently. But, you know, win or lose, you'll gain some priority passes. You can have up to 40 banked. And then at a later date, if you decide you want to play an impacted role, such as damage, you will be able to use your priority pass to enter a faster queue than you would normally get otherwise. Now, the goal of the priority pass system is to speed up queue times for everybody. And the way this is done is by highly encouraging the behavior that people queue for as many roles as possible. That's the way to make the queue move as fast as possible. When you're using a priority pass, it does not guarantee that you get matched instantly. It's impossible for the math to work out that way. 
But what we do is our best to match you in a faster queue time. And we're going to show you what the estimated queue time would be if you were queuing normally versus with the priority pass. And those estimates are our best guess. We do a lot of math. We do a lot of statistics behind those estimates, but they're not perfectly accurate. So we're going to do our best. We think the system will make queuing for everybody better. We think it will be very rewarding for flex players um, because occasionally you'll just be able to, you know, queue for what you want instantly and you'll be rewarded for your very generous behavior, which we very much appreciate. Um, so that's coming soon. It will show up on the PTR first, but honestly, a feature like Priority Pass, you won't really see or feel as much as you will in the live service. We'll mostly be testing on the public test region for bugs, but we'll get mass feedback when the feature goes live and we'll be iterating on it shortly after that. Now, there's another set of features that are coming that I'm particularly excited about. And these features are additions to the replay viewer with two audiences in mind. One is our professional esports observers. So, for example, the observers behind Overwatch League, the observers for contenders. And then the second audience is for our content creators. And we've added a number of really great options. I'm not going to go into detail on every single one of them because there's so many but we've added so many cool options for viewing replays and spectating replays that allow you to do things like control the camera better, to change the user interface, to change how um, things like the outlines on player characters show up. A lot of these things will give you options. For example, you can turn off a particular name over a character's head. You can, you can turn off uh, the, the nameplate, the health bar, um, you can adjust the opacity on the outline um, on the on the characters, including getting rid of it entirely. So we feel like this will put a lot of power and functionality in your hands for when you're uh, watching those replays. And if you want to create content based on those replays, uh, you can now control all sorts of things ranging from the user interface to the camera to sounds. We even let you decide if you want to turn off capture sounds, for example, because sometimes that just gets in the way of content you're creating. So a couple of really cool features coming up, uh, robust changes to the replay viewer that gives you a bunch of power, a bunch of quality of life features. Uh, we think the replay content that's going to come out is going to be pretty amazing. We're going to give you a priority pass system to help with queue times and to reward players for playing in the flex position, which we think is really important. And we're also just extremely excited to share stone by stone with you our latest piece of fiction written by award-winning author Christy Golden. Uh, we miss you all like crazy. We see you all online. Uh, we're glad you're still having fun with Overwatch, and we hope you're all staying safe and healthy. Anyway, that's the update for today, so take care. Thank you. Mm -hmm.